Hello students, today we will study root stability criterion. Concept of stability, a linear time invariant system is said to be stable if it is satisfies the following criteria. When the system is exerted by a bounded input, the output is bounded. In the absence of the input, the output tends towards the zero irrespective of the initial conditions. This stability is called asymptotic stability. Bounded input, bounded output stability. Let R of T, C of T and G of T to be the input, output and impulse response of a linear time invariant system. Therefore, C of S is equal to R of S into G of S. So, C of T equals lambda inverse Laplace transform of G of S into R of S. So, C of T is equal to integration of limit 0 to infinity R of T minus tau into G of tau into D tau. Taking the absolute value on both the sides, that is taking the magnitude on both the sides, C of t is equal to magnitude of 0 to infinity R uh, t minus tau into G of tau into d tau. Since the absolute value of the integral is not greater than the integral of the absolute value of the integrand, that is C of t is less than or equal to integration of 0 to infinity magnitude of G of tau into magnitude of R of t minus tau into d tau. The Bibo stability condition is satisfied uh, if for every bounded input. Thus, the notion of Bibo stability is satisfied if the impulse response G of t is absolutely integral, integrable. That is, integration of 0 to infinity G of tau into d tau is finite. The area under the absolute value curve of the impulse response G of t evaluated from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to infinity is finite. The nature of the impulse response G of t is dependent on the poles of the transfer function G of s which are the roots of the characteristic equation. These roots may be both real and complex conjugate and may have multiplicity of various orders. If any of the roots of the characteristic equation is in the right half of the S-plane, then the transient response increases monotonically with the time or oscillates with increasing amplitude. There are non-repeated roots of an imaginary axis, the response oscillates. If there are repeated roots on the imaginary axis, the response oscillates with increasing amplitude. If there is a single root at origin, the output is of constant amplitude. If there are repeated roots at the origin of the S-plane, the output increases without bound. Absolute stability and relative stability. Absolute stability is a qualitative measure of stability. It refers to the condition of whether the system is stable or unstable. Relative stability. Once the system is found to be stable, it is of interest to determine how stable it is. And this degree of stability is a measure of relative stability. Relative stability is a quantitative measure of how fast transients dry out in the system. Necessary condition for stability. The characteristic equation of an nth order system is given by u of s is equal to a naught s to the power of n plus a1 s to the power of n minus 1 up to a of n minus 1 into s plus a n is equal to 0 where a naught is greater than 0. All the coefficient of its characteristic equation be real and have same sign. None of the coefficient should be 0. However, these conditions are necessary not sufficient because it is quite possible that an equation with all its coefficients non-zero and of the same sign may not have all the roots in the left half of the S-plane. Root stability criteria. The root stability criterion is based on formulating an array called root array or it can be called as root table using the coefficient of the characteristic equation. The first row of the array consisting of first, third, fifth, etc. coefficients. Second row consisting of second, fourth, sixth, etc. coefficient all counting from the highest terms. 
So for example, see uh, q of s is equal to a naught is to the power of n plus a1 is to the power of n minus 1, a2 is to the power of n minus 2 up to a n minus 1 into s plus a n is equal to 0. So s to the power of n, when you take the s to the power of n, I'll take it as a naught, a2 and a4, a6. All even numbers. s to the power of n minus 1 is a1, a3, a5. Now s to the power of n minus 2, I need to calculate the values for that. Then the formula how to calculate. So here I have written s to the power of n minus 2 row, I have written as b1. b1 is equal to a1 multiplied with a2 minus a0 minus a3 divided by a1. And b2 we are calculating as a1 into a4 minus a0 into a5 divided by a1. So next, s to the power of n minus 3, I have written here c1. c1 is b1 into a3 minus a1 into b2 divided by b1. Likewise, we need to calculate all the values up to s0. So we'll take an example. Investigate whether the following systems represent represented by the characteristic equations are stable or not. So here the cat given characteristic equation is s to the power of 5, s to the power of 4, s to the power of 6, s to the power of cube plus 12 s square plus 18 s plus 6 equals 0. So here the highest order is s to the power of 5. So we will take only the odd numbers. So s to the power of 5, 6 s cube and 18 s. So the odd is s to the power of 5 is 1, 6 and 8. Like that s to the power of 4 is 1 and uh, 12 s square is 12 value and last value is 6. So for this we need to calculate the value. So according to the formula what I told it is 1 into 6 minus 1 into 12 divided by 1. So 6 minus 12 uh, divided by 1 is minus 6. Likewise 1 into 18 minus 1 into 6 divided by 1 it is 12 then we need to calculate s2 value likewise and s to the power of 1 value and s to the s0 values okay there are two sign changes so from s4 to s3 it is one sign change and s3 to s3 to s square is one sign change so there are two sign changes in the first column of the root array hence there are two roots of the characteristic equation in the right half of the s plane and the system is unstable So we'll take second example s to the power of 4 2 s cube plus 10 s square plus 8 s plus 3. So s to the power of 4 is uh, any one number. So 1, 10 and 3. Then s to the power of 3 in order to so 2 and 8. So s square we are calculating as 2 into 10 minus 1 into 8 divided by 2 equals 6. And uh, next value is 2 into 3 minus 1 into 0 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So next is the power of 1 value we are calculating it as uh, uh, 6 into 8 minus 2 into 3 divided by 6 equals 7. Next value 6 into 0 minus 2 into 0 divided by 6 is 0. Then last value is 7 into 3 minus 6 into 0 divided by 7 is equal to 3. All the elements in the first column of the root array are positive. So the system is stable. So next example. Uh, s to the power of 6 plus 2 s square s to the power of 5 plus 8 s to the power of 4 plus 15 s cube plus 20 s square plus 16 s plus 16 equals 0. So according to that we know already how to arrange this because s, s to the power of 6 is an even. So 1, 1, 8, 20, 16. Then second row is 2, 15, 16. So here likewise S4, S3, S2, S1, S0 we need to calculate according to the formula. So if you see in the diagram there are 4 sign changes. S4 to S3, S3 to S2, S2 to S1 and S1 to S0. So there are 4 sign changes in the first column of the root array. Yes, there are 4 roots of the characteristic equation in the right half of the S plane. Yes, the system is unstable.